My name is Deneen reynolds Knott, and my play is Antipartum. Antipartum is about two pregnant women who are navigating hospital bed rest and their broken expectations in the antipartum unit of a hospital. The inspiration for antipartum was my own experience living in the antipartum unit for 10 days um, with my oldest son, who's now 10. And what I remember about it was being terrified, of course. Um, but I also remember the kindness and generosity of the other patients in the ward. And so I wanted to create a play that was really powered by that generosity and kindness. Hello? Hi. Uh, I didn't hear them bring anyone in. How long have you been here? Uh, I don't know. It was late or, or maybe really early. If you want to pull back the curtain, you can. I know it can get dark over there. It's a nice view. I have no problem sharing it. OK, thanks. You can open it now or later or? I don't think I can reach it, though. Hi, I'm Mara. Hi, Autumn. The park's really in bloom now. How long have you been here? Uh, a month on Friday. She's staying put. <laughs> oh, you didn't get to choose your breakfast. <laughs> they always give you the worst stuff when you don't. Mm-hmm, yeah, that's what they did. This muffin isn't bad, want it? I'm OK. Make sure to fill out the menus. For lunch, the cream of broccoli soup is really good. For dinner, the chicken parmigiana is much better than it should be. Never get the rice pilaf. It's always undercooked. 
How are the Swedish meatballs? Mm. But the chocolate pudding is delicious. How many weeks are you? Uh, 33. So when you got here... My water broke week 29. Just a couple days shy of 30. How many weeks are you? 26. That's bad, isn't it? Just tell the little one to relax and stay put. We're making it to term. Have any of those uh, NICU doctors talked to you yet? No. Then they're coming, all nice with their, hi, we want to tell you about the NICU to prepare you for what happens after your baby is born and to answer any concerns or questions. Make sure they take your insurance, because I talked to one of those jokers for 10 minutes after I was admitted. They charged me $600, and my insurance won't cover it. $600 mm -hmm. for 10 minutes? Mm -hmm. Why didn't I become a doctor? I'm saying. <laughs> Have you been on one of those uh, maternity tours yet? No. They don't tell you about the antepartum unit on the tour. Guess they're not trying to scare a bunch of expecting people. We were still trying to decide between a home birth or a birthing center. I had the whole plan in my head. Hmm. What was the plan? It doesn't matter now. Were you planning on delivering here? Yeah. I have fibroids, so something about where they're located. I don't think I would have been cleared for a birthing center. This is your first child? No, I have a three-year-old. Oh. She's actually <laughs> mad at me for being here. <laughs> she won't talk to me when my husband brings her. Well, she misses you. Yeah. Your first? Yes. Your daughter came early, too? No. It's a mystery. <laughs> Last night, I was eating dinner at home. It was a... Uh, Hot day, so I had on a linen skirt, and suddenly the back of it was drenched. And now I'm in this bed. And the best case scenario is that I'm going to be lying here for a very long time. Mm. It's so weird. I was teaching. Standing at the whiteboard writing, and I could feel the trickle. It felt so strange and, and warm. But I kept on writing and kept talking. Class ended, still took questions from students after class, standing there leaking, reassuring Charles about his grade. <laughs> <laughs> then I came straight here. They come by and change our padding, but if yours gets too wet, there's extra in that table. Oh. Okay. Some days it's a really slow leak, some days it's a lot, but that's just me. Good morning. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> so this is the social room. Hello. <clears throat> Good morning. Hello, Miss Williams. I'm Dr. Niles from the Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, where your baby will be admitted. I just wanted to take a moment to tell you about the unit and our process. Also, answer any questions you have. What insurance do you take? Oh. That's a very smart question. Well? What insurance do you have? Blue Cross. Oh, I do not accept Blue Cross. I can't talk to you. Do any of the other doctors in there take Blue Cross? I don't think so, but I'll ask around. For free? She's refusing this service. Yes, this is a refusal. Go away! <laughs> well, that was way more emphatic than I meant it. I understand. You seem like a nice person. Thanks? Mm-hmm. Yes. I'll go. Bye. Have a good day. Have a good day. Don't charge her! Wait, so it's possible that none of the NICU doctors in there take our insurance. But our babies will be in there. What does that mean? It means so many bills I'm never opening. He never said he wouldn't charge you, you notice that? You think he will? I should have recorded that conversation. Oh, record me. I'm a witness. I look a mess, but I can vouch for you. Come on. <laughs> Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Recording. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mara Price. It's Tuesday, right? Mm hmm Tuesday, June 20... 23rd. 23rd, yes. It's Tuesday, June 23rd. <laughs> you lose track of time in here. <laughs> I'm with Autumn Williams. Mm-hmm. 
Autumn Williams just refused the conversation with Dr. Niles from the NICU. He didn't give her any information and she should not be billed because no service was rendered. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. I don't think that would be admissible anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> How many roommates have you had? You're the fourth. And did any of them make it to 37 weeks? They were preterm. But I hear the babies are okay. We get to hear their heartbeats every day. They'll probably take you in before lunch. Do you know if you're having a, a girl or boy? I'm not supposed to, but one of the nurses let it slip. I'm trying to forget what I heard. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's just one more thing, right? I wanted only natural light and candles. The whole room would have smelled like lavender. I love lavender. Mm. Huh? I squat on a birthing ball. I take a deep breath. My partner massages my legs with peppermint oil. And I sip a smoothie made of honeydew and kiwi. Mm. And there's soothing music playing. What music? Solange. Yes! <laughs> I hold my baby and I'm welcoming them into our world. We take a warm bath together with healing herbs. I kiss their soft skin and we snuggle. That's really beautiful. We can close this if you need. Yeah, could we? Sure. Just let me know when you want it open again. It's no problem at all. Good looking out, Mara. Anytime. <laughs>